It's time to do one of the most monumental things that we have done. First one is going down. Sound of grass cutting. It's the best. Spring is here. It's going to be a little bit of a soundtrack of today's video, but we are actually, what are we on? Three, four o'clock already? Yeah, three. Half three. Haven't checked in yet today because I've just been doing another coat of paint on the bay windows, which are looking gorgeous, but it's just another coat of paint. Ollie is fixing up. I'll show you the window next door. After painting it beautifully white, he has made it exceedingly dusty, but the window is looking really good. You can see really well here how he's sliced in a new bits. So this was all rotten before, lovely new spewy wood. And then in sections, he's been filling it and sanding. And I'm going to be sadly saying goodbye to these tiles in here. It makes me a little bit sad, but I am putting down protector over these so that we can get back working in here. I'm gonna be painting the coving, which needs to be in the same color as the ceiling. And then as you can see, I have just got all the touching up jobs to meet in because tomorrow, tomorrow we're gonna hopefully start on the trim. This is gonna take a while. I think I'm just gonna to have to show you after. When I'm halfway, I'm not sure if you can see, I've done that one and that one, and hopefully in this corner, yeah, this corner you can really see the difference. So I've just finished there in the corner and I've got the other two to go. It's looking really good, but it's looking very similar. I think I paused at a good place there to show you because Ollie just came in and I know he's the sweetest husband because he said, oh, it's looking really good. And I said, oh yeah, can you see what I've done? And he goes, no. <laughs> Cheerleading me on, but can't see what I'm doing. I've got an attitude. <laughs> We've just walked <laughs> on to him. Oh, he's stuffing his face with some mini eggs. <laughs> and it is 6.13, but we've decided it's time to do one of the most monumental things that we have done for this house. Fitting our double glazing. Fitting our double glazing. Like, we know what we're doing, <laughs> but... It's time. It's finally time. I'll flip you around. The glazing is in two of them and it looks so crazy. So crazy to see them like Such this again. A long time coming. It has been a long time. So here they are. How mad is this? The frames aren't fully painted because this is so precise, but we still need a few more just in case the wood um, shrinks or expands, what have you. So any more paint that is piled on obviously adds to the millimeters and it's it's pretty precise isn't it if we go too far yeah i think we're supposed to have about two mil gap every side on each side and we do have that in most places unfortunately the frames are a bit like warped and twisted and but the boxes are also twisted so we can't really get away from that and we can't make the windows not square so in some places it's a bit tight, in some places it's a little bit loose, but it's as good as we can get. They are the original windows after all. They're literally 120 years old and I did, I'll be honest, I wanted to paint the frames before we did this, but Ollie was like, no, this is the right way to do it. So that's the way that we're doing it. I love that we've just casually got some poo bags there, <laughs> mini eggs, all, all the things you need to put together windows. Uh, this tape, which is double-sided glazing tape. So this is gonna go in. now. Ollie, you rebated these, didn't you? Which basically means that we made this section a lot thicker than the original windows because the original glass was like paper thin. This is pretty thin itself. Can you just lift that one up again? That's double glazing, but it's uber, uber, uber thin double glazing. It's semi-costly, but it's the only way that you can do it to use original frames. So the tape will sit in here all the way long we'll put the glass down and then tomorrow's job will be we then have to make some beading to go over this side of it some people do putty you'll see putty a lot with the original windows but it can get quite messy it doesn't age as well so we've decided to go with the beading the real word i think is glazing beading is that all glazing be glazing beads glazing yeah. beads yes um, those 
we're gonna have to hand make we very, very royal we there ollie is going to be making out of our sapili wood because with them being original obviously they're a very specific size to us uh, which isn't easy to find online and by the time that we buy something online and then have to cut it down it's we might as well have just made them i say okay. that not making them myself but they're really not that hard to make though we'll see just you tomorrow run them through anyway the glazing is going to be stuck down today Potentially the most satisfying part of this. Oh, it works. Oh, don't in the background ruining the uh... ASMR. Yeah. You pick a monkey. We're then putting packers down so that when we put the glass in, we can maneuver it before it gets stuck. How many times have you done that in your life? So the packer is stuck to the side of the tape-ish. So it's not on the tape. It is easy to get off once the glass is on there from the other side, hopefully. Anyway, we'll see how we do. This little thing is an absolute must. Couldn't have done it without it. No. Amazon find? Mm-hmm. <laughs> of course. <laughs> really trust this uh, hand organ in those glasses. Quite expensive. <laughs> I might put it on the floor a bit. <laughs> he loves cloths really as well. The, the nerves. First one is going down. So we have the packers holding it off the tape and then we have packers going around making sure that it's all centered. So we have them on each corner. And then also for the bottom of the sash, we have two, well, we've um, done exactly the same as here, but we've cut them really small because where it sits, the weight, we don't want the whole unit to drop. So we put them in there for good. For good. We're hoping we can't see the yellow <laughs> <laughs> packers when we drop it now. We might use a black packer for the next one. <laughs> yeah. How are we doing this then? Well, I think we just slide this over here. I'm nervous. I'm yeah. really nervous. Oh wow, that came out so easily. Job done. It's centered. Can you believe it? That is our first with the glazing in. Amazing. Go us. Double glazers. <laughs> There's a window with glass in it. <laughs> Actually, why is this so rewarding? It's ridiculous. Wow, that's nice. That is nice. One down, how many have we got? Um, seven to go. Yeah, yeah, that's seven. <laughs> I feel like we'll get a lot quicker now though. Yes, yeah, I, my confidence is built now that I know that we can do it. Right. Just don't, whoa, whoa, be whoa, careful whoa, with what whoa, you're whoa. doing there, whoa. It looks so shiny and beautiful. It does look really good, doesn't it? It looks really good. I can't wait for tomorrow. I feel like everybody watching this though is going to be like, okay, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, bit a, window. Glass. it's, it's a bit of glass. glass. <laughs> it's a bit of journey, okay? Dad's having a bit of a clean mid windows. Otto's thinking his ears need a good clean out. <laughs> I tell you who needs their ears cleaning out, and it is you. Everybody's going to be scared that you've got a knife so close next to oh, him, but fine. he is fine. <laughs> He's more interested in all his ears. Fresh, clean, and showered, although still have a little bit of paint on my hands, which you'll have to excuse. Time for dinner, and I'm so thankful to have HelloFresh sponsoring this part of the video. You guys know we love them. We had our box delivered today. I've actually been keeping it because 
little otter will probably play in it later we'll put some treats in there if you've never heard me talk about them they're a recipe meal delivery service so it gets delivered right to your door you pick from multiple recipes for the week and these are the ones that we have for this week sticky sweet chili beef noodles beef mince bean and red wine hot pot which i was thinking would be a really lovely sunday meal and for today because i'm feeling a bit like a comfort meal we've got the chipotle beef rigatoni oh i am so excited for this All of the meals are portioned perfectly into these bags, which helps so much with food waste. And as you can see here, this recipe card has the number 13, which correlates with the bag that that food is in. And on the back is a really simple step-by-step -step guide on how to cook it. And you may be able to see at the top, it has a little rapid sign. We go for these all of the time. They're usually 20 minutes, quick fire cooks that are so simple to do at the end of day. You can probably hear it in my throat where I'm feeling a bit tired and just want food in my belly, but I want fresh, good ingredients. This has stopped us eating a lot of takeaways and a lot of processed foods whilst we've been doing these renovations. But at the weekends, we also like to go for um, some of the longer ones as well as they have premium, they have family friendly, um, they have veggie, they have calorie smart, but the premium ones are quite nice. You know, if you wanna have like a little date night, pay a little extra and you get something really special. Anyway, let's get cooking. sprinkle of cheese and we are done and because i just can't wait for ollie to come down for a shower i'm gonna have to try a nibble mm, so good i adore pasta well that went down a treat if you fancy giving a go simplifying your meal times then you can use my code to get you 60 percent off your first box and 25 percent off your next eight i'll leave all of that information linked below in the description box i'm gonna load the dishwasher and then slump in front of the sofa i'll be honest we're watching um daisy jones at the six at the moment and i am so enjoying it in fact we were listening to um songs whilst we were doing windows and having watched the program they're so catchy in my head all the time but we will check in with you again tomorrow i'm always in the same clothes are you in exactly the same clothes mm, very slightly different <laughs> it's another great top <laughs> it is another day i promise you i'm wearing the same thing again but i've been painting again today it's much later we keep picking up the camera when it's much much later but painting you guys just don't need to see this however this is exciting you know we were talking about those glass beads well it's only the next day and ollie whilst i've been painting today has made us some from scratch some i mean he's made us a ton because so this is the sapili wood that we've been using for windows and just to show you so yesterday we put the glass down you can see the tape um this has been left so that the shrinkage and the growing and what ha what have you of the wood <laughs> the wood will grow our Expe door our front door has grown yeah wood changes <laughs> um and then these are the glass beads that are basically going to cover it so these will also be stuck down by the tape and then these will be um, nail gunned in and then we'll filler them and make them look so beautiful but this is instead of putty and it's just gonna make them look insanely good obviously these are not cut Ollie's gonna do are you gonna do little yeah they're all mitre, mitre cuts, cuts on them and this is two separate ones right now just to see what it looks like but that will be one solid one I'll have to make some more big that ones. will go through the and middle I'll have to cut that back so that it's what's in there I'm not sure we've explained this in quite a while but originally this window would have been two panes of glass we changed the whole original window so that it could be one obviously this will be much better for everything soundproof windproof heat um, and to do that we will be sticking that bar on so it looks like it's still two separate panes of glass and two windows but it's not sneaky <laughs> how clever is that uh, excuse the mess in this dining room this is very much a working in progress. Did we show you this? So we managed to do, oh golly, they look so good. <laughs> These four last night, as well as that one. So we've still got a few more to go. Three more. But we were keen to get these done. We love jumping from job to job, don't we? Well, the thing is, we're kind of running out of room a little bit. So as soon as we get these painted, then those down there to start with can get their beads put in and then the glass is like fully secure. It's kind of secure now, but uh, 
kind of, you're always a bit worried it's going to fall out. Once these are in, it's not falling out. Yeah, and then they're, apart from a quick little lick of paint, which I'll do, they are done, 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 done. And we need these done so that we can weigh them so that we can get the weights to actually get them in and finish the windows. So yeah, next job, we're gonna get these painted. bit of glazing done we've done the uber big ones here and then we've also got a smaller one and all the four smaller ones behind i can't believe we've got all the glazing in all it fits it fits, it fits. <laughs> i mean it would have been a real issue if these didn't go in <laughs> we just would have been remaking the windows because they're far less expensive than the glass there's the glass yeah i did i didn't, i was just gonna say that would have been very expensive and we have waited for these to dry. We're just wondering now whether whether we give up for the evening because it is Everything probably about like, half six, seven. Yeah. It's getting so bright in the evening, so it's a bit. Yeah, six forty. But I kind of just want to see maybe one of these with some wood trim on. That already looks so good, just like that. Thing. I know it's very exciting for us. I'm so aware that for everybody watching this, it's maybe, well, I don't know. They've been watching this for nearly a year, <laughs> so maybe you'll be glad that so we are seeing some actual windows. They look like windows now. Oh my God. Look at it. Glazing the <sighs> Professional window fitter. No, no, not Never professional. Again? No. Well, know. maybe one more time. Yeah, <laughs> I said to Ollie today, whilst we were painting these, I think we will do the living room ones. Seeing them come together, it, every job, every job is so painful when you're in the middle of it. And then kind of seeing the other side now, I'm like, how could we not do this? It saved us, can you even see us? It has saved us a lot of money. Yeah, an awful lot. I, I mean, we might be eating our words once we get them in and they will smash out because we haven't put them back in properly. Yeah, as long as they fit and run properly. <laughs> 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 oh dear, what have we done? <laughs> and if we did it again, as with everything, so, we know many, what we're doing. so many lessons learned <laughs> could do it ten times quicker. Yeah. The living room ones are already paint stripped on the inside because we did that when we did the downstairs. Yeah. So generally... And, the and it's been plastered, like that whole space. I don't think. It won't I think it'll be as well. No. We've got a lot of video now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you don't have to upload. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some that row. <laughs> like we're doing it, but we're looking at the screen. <laughs> Today I made sure to put another outfit on. And I'm in the same thing. <laughs> Ollie's looking the same. This morning we are going to be putting on the little beads that we painted. We've got a little mitre box and saw, so we're going to be doing it in here. That's Otto's job. And then I think as I explained, we are just going to be putting these down with the same tape and we're going to sand them off so they're exactly the right height. Put little nails in, so we're going to hammer these in. Could have done this with the gun, but honestly, ours isn't the most professional. We don't trust it, do we? It's a cheap nail gun. When they do these properly, they use, I think it's actually called like a pin nailer, a pneumatic pin nailer. And you have a very tiny point to like be like, I want the nail there. Ours is a little bit more kind of like, I want a nail somewhere in here. Yeah, a bit more slapdash on oh, no, like us. So we're going to do it by hand to hopefully make it a little bit more accurate. And we're going to start with these four and probably call it a day because for the bigger ones we need to make um some more middles so ollie made the edges but he needs to do the same thing making the middles and that's a job for another day this is our first join oh look at that 
as you can see it's a bit high we've purposely done that so that we can plane it down to the right size afterwards All of our beads have been cut and I have taped them and the first one is going on. I'm like, quite nervous. <laughs> yeah, you've got to get this in the right place because it has to butt right back before it touches the glass, which is tricky. It looks pretty good. Yeah. I think if the other two fit. <laughs> it does look so much neater than using putty though, doesn't it? Yeah, loads better. They're in, that actually went ridiculously easily. This may not be there. So now we are nailing with our teeny tiny little nails. And, oh. Makes me nervous by hand. Yeah. First one's in. Ah, oh, looks so good. So now we just have to put a million more in. <laughs> I'm having to end this video a little bit earlier than I had hoped. As you can probably hear, we are both ill, which I'm so gutted about, honestly so gutted, because we were on such a roll, the windows are nearly done, we um, have everything in place to move forward with the bathroom now, and we got ill, of course. And actually, funny enough, we got ill, my mum gave it to us, she didn't mean to, of course, um, but she came to help for the day, to get ready to do work, so like, load the fridge, do some meals with me, she baked like a banana loaf, um, and then ended up passing, passing on my dad's, uh, dad's illness. So anyway, it's been a little bit slower the last few days than we were expecting, but the windows are looking so, so good. We still just need to file down the little bits of wood and then a little bit of a paint and then we're weighing them to go back in but we're kind of jumping from job to job a little bit at the moment it makes sense in our heads we're now moving on to the bathroom so next week will be a really big bathroom update we're going to get the molding onto the walls and we're hoping to move in the bath so i've ordered all of the like little finishing off pieces for that all the radiator valves and bits and we're hoping to do like a bit of a second fix plumbing before the bathroom is totally finished so that we can actually clear the floor everywhere, the wood floor, and get them sanded. Because once that's done, we're done. We've got skirting board, architrave to go in, but that is, like, Ollie is really quick at the woodwork now. And we're there. The only thing slowing us down is the laggy that we've just got so that's such a shame but still pushing through i'm gonna have a bit of a day you know when you're ill and you just want everything to be clean all the time like when i'm ill i want to wash the bedding every day so gonna go ahead and get ourselves a little bit better i hope that you guys are all feeling okay apparently it's going around a lot again at the moment so i'm hoping you're staying away from it, from it especially because the weather is so much nicer and it's sad to miss out on that sunshine but we will see you again next week for the bathroom moulding, which is going to be... Oh, I can't wait to see that go up. See you then, guys. Bye.